Welcome to this edition of Burn Tech University, presented by United States Stove Company. In today's video, we'll show you how to properly replace the 01-25 ceramic fiber board on the TR-001 Vogelzine wood stove. Always refer to your owner's manual. This video is for informational purposes only. If you are unsure about replacing any of the components on the stove, we recommend having a certified electrician or stove technician do this for you. The tool needed for today's project is a number two Phillips screwdriver. To begin today's project, first make sure the stove is completely cooled, then open the door to access the air tubes. The air tubes are located at the top of the firebox. These will need to be removed first to reach the fiber board, and you will only need to take out the two air tubes in the front. To remove the front air tube, use the screwdriver to remove the screws holding the bracket to the left side of the firebox. Please note, the bracket needs to be removed with the air tubes to prevent damage to the new fiber board. Once the screw is removed, the air tube will slide to the right, then pull the tube down while sliding it to the left to remove it. Before removing the middle air tube, the side brick below this air tube will need to be removed. You will not need to remove the back air tube at the rear of the stove. Now that the front two air tubes have been removed, pick up on the fiber board and angle it down so that the board will easily come through the door. To install the new fiber board, slightly bend the board towards the middle so that the board will fit through the door. Once the board is in the stove, you will need to slide the board to the back and let it rest under the metal bracket at the top front of the firebox. To install the new air tube, insert the tube into the slot on the right side of the firebox, then slide the tube slightly left. Then insert and tighten the screw through the bracket into the air tube. Once the middle air tube has been installed, insert the first air tube by inserting the tube into the slot on the left side of the firebox, then slide the tube slightly to the right. Then insert and tighten the screw through the bracket into the air tube. After the air tubes are back in place, make sure the fireboard is pushed all the way to the back of the firebox. If not, the stove may not vent properly. Once again, this video is for informational purposes only. We strongly recommend a certified electrician or stove technician do any repairs for you. If you need further assistance or have any questions, please visit us at vogelzine.com or give us a call at 1-800-222-6950. Thank you for watching this edition of Burn Tech University.